Both PowerShell and CMD are considered command line shells in the world of Windows operating systems. However, they differ significantly in functionality and purpose. First, let's discuss some of these differences and then look at a few commands that vary on PowerShell and Windows. First one, type. So PowerShell is designed for scripting and automation, offering powerful features for managing system resources like processes, services, and files. On the other hand, CMD primarily focus on executing individual commands at the command prompt. Syntax. So in terms of syntax, PowerShell uses a verb noun syntax. So verb noun here, for example, get processes or get process to retrieve running processes. So get and process. On the other hand, CMD relies on keywords, for example, dir to list directories and lacks the structure of PowerShell. Uh, objects. PowerShell uh, works with objects that represent real world entities like files, processes, users, etc. So that's the same concept of object oriented programming. So allowing manipulation of their properties and methods. Then on the other hand, CMD primarily deals with text and lacks built in object manipul uh, manipulation capabilities. Next is uh, pipelines. So PowerShell allows chaining and filtering commands using pipelines, making it efficient for complex tasks. On the other hand, CMD offers limited ability to pipe the output of one command to another as input. In terms of scripting, PowerShell is more powerful for scripting complex tasks due to its rich features, object-oriented nature, and advanced functionalities. On the other hand, CMD provides less, it's less suited for extensive scripting due to its simpler structure and limited capabilities. Then cross-platform, PowerShell is available on Windows, Mac OS, Linux. So if you have any of these operating systems, not just Windows, you can have PowerShell installed. So it, uh, this provides a consistent experience across different platforms. On the other hand, CMD, uh, it's exclusive to Windows operating system. Lastly, remote management. PowerShell offers more capabilities in terms of remotely managing your systems. Those are some of the major differences between the two command line shells, that's PowerShell and CMD. Now let's go to the terminal and look at some simple example commands. To look at some of these basic commands, I have a PowerShell window here and CMD as well. And this is on Windows 11. You can do this on Windows 10 or earlier versions that support Windows PowerShell. So first command from the PowerShell window, which is this, the first command we'll try is to get computer info. So this will generate detailed information about this uh, particular PC we're on. You can see things like the OS status. You see the, uh, the processor, the architecture, ARM64. You see a lot of information about on, on that. So the command is get computer info. On the other hand, get computer info wouldn't work here. Well, let's say get computer on CMD, get computer info. If I hit enter, it's not recognized. So what's the alternative for that? So you can use system on CMD, system info. So system info would give you CPU serial number. Same, same thing in a way. It generates reports about everything. Uh, everything your system is able to uh, present from the command. So yes, you have this output for, for that. The next command is 
to list the content of a directory. So on Windows on PowerShell, you say get children, get child item. So if I say get child item in this directory, hit enter, it lists the content of this directory. You can, always, you can also use ls just as you would do on a Linux machine. So ls will also list the contents of the directory. On the other hand, if you say get child item on Windows or on CMD, and you can see that it says get child item is not recognized. So what's, how do you list the content of a directory on CMD, DIR? DIR will list the content of directory. I'm on system32, so it has a lot of files there. The next command is to clear your screen. So you've been typing a lot and you need more space to, to do a lot more typing. Clear is the command for PowerShell. So if I say clear, I've used clear here for, but on CMD, the command to clear is not clear is cls so it's like clear screen so clear so next is to remove an item so in this directory i can list the contents of the files the contents of this directory so i have some files here to test remove item so let's say remove remove item the item we want to remove is copy dot txt copy dot txt hit enter you would you can see that copy dot txt is gone after if you do another ls copy dot txt isn't there so that's remove remove item on powershell on, on the other hand on cmd to remove an item first let's list the contents dir on this directory we have some files here let's let's remove let's delete new one.txt so it's simple just say del that's delete new one.txt if i hit enter that will delete that will remove the file new one.txt so now if we say dir again dir hit enter no new one.txt just uh, new two.txt so that's uh, CMD CLS. Let's clear the screen here. Then clear. Let's clear the screen here. Next command is to move an item. So if we want to move, move is like renaming an item. On PowerShell, if we list the contents of this directory, or if we get child get get child item get child item on this direct we want to move or rename band.txt to something else so what on on partial that would be move item so i would say move item move item what's the file i want to move band.txt the file i want to move is band.txt and I want it to be something else, a different name. So I would say band txt to not not band txt. So hit enter. Now, if we list the contents of this directory, which is get child item, get child item, and hit enter, you can see band.txt is gone but we now have not band.txt back to cmd same thing if we list the content of this directory the new file that we just moved which is uh, not band.txt we can move it using cmd with something else to something else so that's just move so we just say move not the file not band.txt and we want to move it to something say new band.txt anything hit enter now if we scroll up you can see one file it said one file moved and if we list the contents dir scroll back up you would see that we we, we now have a new file new band.txt okay Another command is for getting IP addresses, network configuration. So on, let me clear on 
PowerShell. On PowerShell, you would typically say get net IP address. Hit enter. It's going to give you every information you need about your adapter, your IPv6, IPv4, IP addresses, and all all the IP ad all the addresses that are associated with this uh, uh, computer. You you get to see that. And on the other hand, get net IP ad address on CMD wouldn't work. So the option is IP config. IP config. So IP config is the option, and you get uh, the information about your IP address and subnet mask. To add to that, you can say IP config forward slash all. You get more information about your interface and all the connections you have here. So in summary, although Windows PowerShell and CMD are both command line shells, PowerShell offers a lot more uh, flexibility and uh, a lot more um, options for scripting and object-oriented uh, programming options, remote management, cross-platform compatibility, and other improvements over CMD. So your choice is essentially based on your use case, actually. So that's it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.